Okay, good morning. Welcome to Becky H. 2112's Semi Mad Scientist Let's Play. Let's see, put this thing together. I put this mod to back together to give me a chance to play with various tech mods that I don't usually play with. I'm also using the Sortex Fanver texture pack, which again, don't usually play with, so sometimes I'm going to be stopping and staring at things like, what the heck is that? And someday I'll remember them here to punch wood. Anyway, it's got a lot of standard stuff. NEI, Wayla, Jabba, Iron Chests. And a lot of stuff some of you are probably familiar with. Forestry, Thermal Expansion, Tinker's Construct, Applied Energistics. Also have some other stuff that just looked interesting, like Professor Flaxbeard's steam-powered mod, factorization, mariculture, necromancy, progressive automation, and of course there's, and of course gotta have open blocks and extra utilities, because you never know when you're gonna need stuff like that. Oh hey, these. Where am I going and why am I going there? Map is journey map. And if you wonder, and I've, this is like my second or so take on this particular episode, because the first one screwed up, so I do know more or less where I'm going. More or less. Hey, Wolfs! Hey, Wolfs! Mommy loves you. Got some more of that very gray water. Seriously, this stuff's kind of depressing looking. Apparently we have zombies around here somewhere. Apparently, zinc ore has not been sortexed. Where am I going? I'm going this way. That's where I'm going. What's this stuff? Oh, clay. Oh, what's this? This is Sirtis Quartz. Neat. Assuming this is gravel. Yep. Yeah. 
Anyways, I don't usually play with tech mods. I'm more of a magic mod person. But playing with Agrarian Skies has gotten me interested in trying out some of the tech mods. Appetite. So I figure why not just throw myself into the deep end. Which is what this is all about. And Mariculture's box site has also not been fan store text. Apparently this is a meteor from the last time I went and looked at it, and I have no idea what mod it's from. Galacticraft, probably? It's like hella nice design. I mean, we got cobblestone, we got this nice crater. Gravel. Whatever this stuff is. Skystone. Applied Energistics. So maybe this is an Applied Energistics thing? I didn't know Applied Energistics threw meteors at us. Interesting. Fossils. A lot of copper, of course. Oxide. Tin. Who is this coal? This is coal. I figure whenever Dragon API and Wayla get to playing nice with each other, I'll throw in Rotorcraft, Reactor ca Craft, and Electrocraft, because those look really interesting. Or at least I think the puzzle bit, puzzle bit, the puzzle design parts of Rotorcraft look interesting. No one cares, cow. No one cares. Marble. And yes, I do have decorative things in like chisel, bibliocraft, carpenter's blocks. Plus storage drawers, which looks very neat. Let's see, got redstone paste and hopper ducks. Because they're both useful things that I understand, unlike Red Logic and Red Power 2. So I've been looking at those, and I'm not actually sure what the key difference is here. Is there a reason I should prefer one over the other? Hey, cow. Anyways, we're going to go live in that hole over there. Hello, chickens. They look... Okay, why do you look like topiary zombies? That's just kind of weird. Anyways, the topiary zombies are attacking me. 
Okay, they're mostly just running out here and burning to death, but you know, they're trying to attack me. Uh -huh. That was an Enderman. Hello, Enderman. I'm not looking at you. Ah, oh, muscle. Zombie head. Rotten flesh. How about some torches? We like torches. Will you please leave, Enderman? You're kind of alarming me. Please leave. Please leave. Seriously, please leave. Okay, sun is going down. And this seems like a good little place to hole up for the night. Enderman, leave! No one wants you here, except for you. We're gonna have to close up the various holes at some point that is not right now, Enderman. Why are you still here? Okay, no, that's not gonna work. Anyways, for now, we're just gonna do a nice basic little hut to get through the night, because the night is boring and full of exciting things that want to kill us. Anyways, barring something really exciting happening, we're going to take a break here for the night. Will you go away, Enderman? We'll come back once morning. Or when I kill that Enderman because he's pissing me off. One or the other. Well, the sun is right in here, so it's time to bust out and see what's trying to kill me. Absolutely nothing at the moment. I disbelieve. right now is going to be securing my various entrances so that there's only one place monsters can come in from. Make sure they can't spawn in here. That's just 
not a very useful way to run a business at all. Well, not business. Evil science empire? Whatever. Okay, I think I'm going to keep this area as a lower exit. Actually, I'll probably keep them all as exits to one degree or another. That's step the first. I need some more wood. Reads. And yes, I should get some food at some point. But reads. Ah, oh, sunflowers. Also neat. I haven't really done a lot with 1710 at this point, so there's probably going to be a lot of ooing at various 1710 features too. <laughs> ah, there's a sheep. Hello, sheep. I know, I know, you're precious. You also have bed-making material. Which means I can do exciting things like sleep through the night. Too bad about not dropping mutton until 1-8. That's one less thing to worry about. Okay, you you are gonna need some dirt. That's what you're gonna need. Hi, chicken. I need a shovel. Actually, first, let's take a brief moment. Okay, chicken, that was kind of easy.
Oh, what I meant to do there. So many eggs. Wish I had Pam's Harvest Craft installed so I could eat these eggs. Oh well. Let's go cook some chicken and some aluminum. Or, no, tin. Let's go cook some chicken and some of the actual metal I mined. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? How smooth stone looks in Sortex Fanver. Very pretty. And this looks like a good wrapping point, up point for the episode. We'll come back next time after I've done some off-camera work to make this place livable. And if you don't want me to be doing, if you guys don't want me to do off-camera work like that, let me know. I'm quite happy to record forever. <laughs> Anyways, have a good day and take it easy and all that jazz.